Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to the live Q&A uh, for our Conan Japan episode. Uh, we are, uh, where are we right now, guys? We're not in California. We are in Chicago. That's right. On the Conan and Friends comedy tour. Just played the Chicago Theater last night. Yeah. Uh, very successful show. Sold out crowd. Sold out crowd. We are now uh, in a it's hotel like room. Sold out. <laughs> yeah. We didn't sell out. We sold out the show. And then I sold out a long time ago, uh, <laughs> Just emotionally. <laughs> and we are here in a hotel room. It's very cold outside. Uh, but Japan Show yeah. aired last night. Very excited about that. That's Just, right. Uh, proud of that one. I think there's some good moments in that show. Absolutely. And we are on Instagram and Facebook, and we're taking your questions. So get them in uh, while the getting's good. Uh, and let's talk, first of all, about... Uh, one thing we did, uh, we've done in several other shows, and we did in this one was an etiquette lesson. Uh, so, uh, it, which I think didn't go the way you thought it was going to go. The women were a little more. Well, okay, let's cut to the chase. Yes, let's cut. To I'd the chase. always been told that Japanese, in, in Japanese culture, etiquette's very important. Yes. And behaving properly and respecting their space, and I wanted to do that while I was in Japan. I think I'm culturally sensitive, yes. <laughs> so Mike Sweeney found uh, a place called uh, Breakfast. Ja What's it called? Uh, Japanese lunch. Japanese, Japanese lunch. lunch. Japanese lunch. And we went there. And what you're seeing in that segment is real. This woman instantly started to make it clear she didn't find me attractive. <laughs> Then got very specific. Within 20 seconds. Within 20 seconds, <laughs> 20 seconds that she didn't think I was attractive. She was on the clock. Yeah, and, <laughs> and went, she didn't like my face. She didn't like my body. Then she said she did like my legs. And she said, if I just focus on the legs, she's okay with me. But she wants to block out the rest. I was torn to shreds. She had a leg fetish. <laughs> Very into legs. Yeah, and I think I've been uh, a little manorexic since that, <laughs> since we shot that. You, you it got took, in your you head. You really took it hard. I took it, I took it hard. Yeah, I, have not, the I have not had a carb <laughs> no, since I met that woman, and I blame her. They are good. <laughs> That's right. They, That's, they, they should be uh, trainers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you want to lose fast. weight fast, guys, <laughs> go, to, go, to Japanese go, lunch. go to Japanese lunch and ask this woman, do you think I'm attractive? <laughs> You will be eating ice cubes for the rest of your life. <laughs> uh, Ricky Kent on Facebook asks, what do the people of Japan think of your hair? Uh, I think they're, they sort of look at it as if, um, you know, every now and then they pull uh, a creature from the bottom of the sea that no one <laughs> has seen before because it's at a depth. A living or, fossil. A yes. living fossil or like a sea anemone an that's got nine eyes <laughs> that those are the looks i was getting sort of wonderment looks it's, of wonderment you did uh that's stick out that way with your hair yeah that's true that's true we did stick out quite a bit uh somebody's asking uh where's the kojima video that's going to be uh released later but we did uh visit uh kojima studios it was very cool a lot of top secret stuff there and yeah, um, we had to be we have to be a little delicate with the timing of that yes, yes. because uh they were incredibly nice to us yes, yes. and he's an incredibly cool guy very and cool. obviously brilliant yeah and he did ask could we release that closer to when possibly yes they're getting ready to do their thing and we wanted to respect that absolutely, so absolutely. Um, we're we not can, we can disclose they're, they're creating the entire game on Laptop. Yeah, yeah, it's just it's a giant room with just one. It's one. It's a giant TV. room, one laptop, and oddly, a laptop from 1998. Yeah, yeah. that's surprising. That's that's Not like a, that's how they like to work. It's got a lot of stickers on it. Um, this is kind of a larger question, uh, but like, I don't know where we go when we die. Is that your question? <laughs> I honestly don't know. Maybe this room. Maybe we're already dead. This, this might be. Uh, yeah, this is our purgatory. Right. Um, but life with PayPal asks, how has visiting each country for Kona Without Borders changed your perception? Of their culture, you know, we, uh, Mike, you do a lot of uh, um, uh, research before we go, uh, and then when we're there, you're just kind of thrown into the mix. Do, has have we been to a country that has been significantly different than you thought before we went? Wow. Well, uh, obviously, every country is you can't imagine it until you're there. So. We can do all the reading and prep we want, but not and, until you get there and you immerse yourself with the people. You're never going to have an accurate That's impression true. just from you have to go there. I mean, I would say the biggest soul 
Korea was such an amazing experience. Loved the people, yeah. but not also just the city and uh, and and the and how massive it is. <coughs> there Same was with Tokyo. That's thirty million. It's people. crazy. Tokyo it's is yeah. You cannot. You can watch Lost in Translation a hundred times and still <laughs> not get Tokyo. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't have... ready for how immaculate it was. Literally. Yeah. I. I yeah, no, no, nothing. That, yeah, that doesn't show up in a guidebook. It's crazy. That's the, that's the thing about Tokyo that doesn't yeah. that doesn't show up in a guidebook. That you, we were driving through uh, Tokyo and and we went under an, a sort of an iron overpass. Yeah, you know the kind of things that you see in Queens, you know, or Chicago, Chicago, right? Chicago, yeah. Manhattan. Look at the underside of those bridges still, in the United States, yeah. and they're just. <laughs> <laughs> Filthy and rusty, yeah. and there's stuff up there that's been up there for 50 years. Living and in cocoons. Underneath. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we passed under one in Tokyo, and I looked up, because we had a, a glass roof on the car, a sunroof, and I looked up, and clearly they'd been cleaning the underside of an overpass, and say that three times fast. Uh, I couldn't believe it. And when you walk around, people are just polishing it's things. It's crazy. Like delivery trucks that would normally be... <laughs> Disgusting in the United States. Or just, they yeah. were just you felt yeah. like you were in an animated show. Yes, yeah. it was beautiful. Trash can yeah. trash cans are beautiful <laughs> there. So. I was, we were in a, a neighborhood and I was like I was trying to figure out where they where's all the garbage? Yeah. I started looking in between houses. There were thin alleyways. I'm like, it must be switched in there. Where is the garbage? They were, no, it's amazing. No it's way. a magic trick. Reminds me of that line uh, from Annie Hall where Woody Allen and says you know, there's no garbage anywhere in L.A. And he says that's because... Uh, I think his friend Max says, look, because he's bragging about L.A. There's no garbage in L.A. And Woody Allen says that's because they turn it, turn it all into, into television shows. Yeah. <laughs> not film, of course. Not film. Yeah. Not film. No, 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 not, film. No, no, no. not film. Not his medium. <laughs> uh, Hoppy Bibby on Facebook is asking... What's, about that? What's the name? Hoppy Bibby? Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> is asking... Uh, or is, is actually requesting, Conan, do more episodes featuring your new family. Your new father is probably my favorite character since Carl Oldie Olsen and the guy with bulletproof legs. Uh, my <laughs> new dad, and this is, look, I want to again make it clear. Uh, my dad, I talked to him yesterday in Boston, Massachusetts. <laughs> oh, real my real dad. And uh, I do love my dad, but this guy is, in, is an improved version. <laughs> I have a great relationship with him. He told me I was his favorite son. Yes, that's right. He forgave me. Uh, he, he asked for my forgiveness for <laughs> spilling the creamed corn on the linoleum floor, uh, for getting mad about it. I don't know. I, I loved that family. I really did love yeah. that family. And my current family should be threatened <laughs> because I'm very tempted to switch. They laughed. Did you see them laugh at my jokes? It was you know? incredible. It was incredible. And you guys play frisbee. You you, uh, you went on a picnic. I mean, it was. I think you really bonded. Well, you th th uh, that was such a brilliant idea. And Mike, you can tell us. But I think you, that that idea you got that idea from a New Yorker article, the, didn't you? We got it from a New Yorker article about. We get most of our ideas from New Yorker and the Paris Review. <laughs> uh, and so that there was an yeah. article about these rental families. Uh, so it just we explored it, and they said, "Yeah, we can." It just it's a, one up for you, no problem. Fascinating to me is it fell together. That one fell together very soon. Very, it very, great. and and I so loved great. the guy who ran the company. He was yeah. fantastic. You know, the, the the man I met with. Yeah, who, he, who he set me up. And he was. I think he was a rental. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think he would. <laughs> but I love that no matter what I said, I went out of my way to say ridiculous things to him, and it was all being translated for him. And he was listening, going, "Hmm, yes, yes." I'm like saying the most ridiculous things and he's nodding his head and then I asked how long could I keep them for and he said four years I think yeah three years three yeah. years one of them's a what a, 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 she was a 12 year old 12 year old <laughs> girl it's ridiculous you should talk to her that's the age of reason she, yeah. she could make that informed decision I do want to do a shout out to uh, Jason Chalemi yes and uh, Jesse Gaskell and Jose Royal. brilliant Jason is the one who we have these ideas and he he found, he's the one who found Japanese lunch. Yes. Oh, wow. He's the one who yeah. found the rental company. Ja yeah, yeah, Jason. And he does it all with our local, he always finds a fixer. That's right. Locally, and then we, he has this great relationship with them. Yeah. Working and, together. And Jason, just it's a nice story, Jason Chalami started really early on, like, what, 94, 95, as an intern. Yeah. Correct. 
and then he has become these travel shows would not happen no. if it were not for Jason Shalemi. He makes them all happen, and he's so great. He's, yeah. No matter what goes wrong, and occasionally things go wrong. No, he's just super chill. Takes care of everything. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's, it's like some kind yeah, of enough about him. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And also, uh, Masato and John are two fixers in Japan. Yes, so, yes. thank you, oh, they were Masato great. John. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, Belen Lopez on Facebook says, uh, is asking, what was your favorite meal in Japan? There's a very specific uh, fancy meal you had. I'm yes, I had a favorite. meal. I would say, I'm not talking about the food itself, but for the experience. The kaiseki. Having the kaiseki meal with Jordan <laughs> and having him go on and on about <laughs> seeing Karate Kid 2 and that being the reason for 10 years of, pump, of pompous bullshit babble about Japanese culture and it all was because it was really filmed in where did he say it was like Okinawa or yeah, yeah he said Okinawa, Okinawa. Okinawa. Yeah. and to have him to have that video <laughs> from Ralph Macchio not Macchio loaded up and watch Jordan Bill perfectly walk right into the crosshair <laughs> and you can see me waiting <laughs> And I'm like, I'm just, I'm the cat that's about to eat the canary. And then I hand it to him, and that blue Jordan. I don't think you just let him go and go. And he was, he was, he was kind of, you were doing the rope of dope, and he was just slamming away at you for two hours. And you're like, go ahead, take your shots. I can wait. I mean, no hurry. And Kevin Bachang on Facebook is asking, was Jordan actually upset? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Jordan was mad. Jordan edited think- out. His, we had to edit out some of him. It, it, it he, was too ugly. You had to avert your gaze. <laughs> yeah, it was, there was. Oh my god, he got really mad. And we actually had a, you had a live stream going. Yes. And there are people out there that watch the live stream. Yes. That said, oh my god, he's really Jordan. He was, yeah, he got Jordan really got really, really mad, <laughs> and <laughs> to the, <laughs> well, that video came through that morning. That like a few hours. Yeah. Oh, and can I, have, oh, wait, you know what we got to do? Oh, yeah, you know what we got to do? We have to yeah. give, I have to give a, I mean, I should write the guy a note, but uh, Ralph Macchio. No, this not, is better. No, yeah, no <laughs> this but, is better. No, I really do. Uh, he was, he made that tape for us great. and yeah. he was great and it came in and it was perfect. And obviously right he's a very talented guy and, and, but I'm, I'm very much in his debt. That was perfect. <laughs> so Ralph Macchio, uh, Thank you. What a, cool, what a cool guy to He's do great. that, and he did it perfectly. Well, yeah. we're talking about this. Yeah, yes. We, we went to research Karate <coughs> Kid 2 because we thought, oh, he loves this movie. Yeah. Maybe we can actually visit uh-huh. sites in Japan. Where oh, wow. Interesting. And that's when on Wikipedia it was like, <laughs> although it took place in Okinawa, it was all filmed in, on the uh, island of Oahu. <laughs> and I think there was a big thing amongst the rest of us because – we wanted to get him on camera. I wanted to nail him on camera. And so Jordan, you know, for some reason, he has this way of finding out about that. He just knows things. And so we were all, I think, really nervous about whether or not he was. Uh, yeah, you always yeah. worry about. Yeah. We wanted the, the, Jordan's the reaction on camera is real. Yes. He didn't know that was coming. No. He was stunned. Then he was angry. <laughs> and then, like, the computer how in 2001 <laughs> he started to fall apart <laughs> and try to kill everybody <laughs> uh, uh, I'm sorry Dave. do you want to bring a quick uh, special guest appearance yeah special uh, guest uh, appearance uh, want to step over here uh, just for a second we'll talk about you if you want to come on we're not? advancing you this by having it. somebody no <laughs> I know but you were, you were on a you were it's, it's a, it why, it's a, why, a, why are you happening though this makes no sense because look, everybody, it's Sona. Yay, Sona. Uh, here, getting space. close, Sona. Nice and close. Nice and close. <laughs> uh, Sona, an interesting side note for you fans out there. Sona was trying to look a little happy. Sona was um, in Japan the same time we were, but you were. I was on my honeymoon. Honeymoon. She was on her honeymoon, but she's not in the show because that would have been creepy. <laughs> it's your honeymoon. It would have been. It would have been. Did you? We never really got too close to each other. We were always in different cities. Right. right. When Kyoto. you guys were in to- Tokyo, I was in Kyoto <coughs> and then Osaka, and that's. How weird is that? You wouldn't even plan that. We went to Tokyo, 
And only later on did we realize that your honeymoon was lined up for the exact same time, literally almost day to day, that we were going to be there. Right. Um, I don't know. I just thought that was kind of a cool coincidence. Were you nervous that that maybe we had planned something to try to ambush you guys? On your no, honeymoon? I think I would have been if it was in Tokyo, but... Yeah. No. We weren't going to travel to Kyoto. You no, did you some, guys weren't going to travel. You did something extremely cool, which we didn't get to see, which was sumo. Yes. So do you want to explain a little bit sumo, about sumo? I went to the sumo competition, which was one of the coolest things I've ever done. It was awesome. But it was cool. also, I, I how long was it? It, it starts at 8 in the morning, and it goes on till about 6 in the evening. <laughs> and it's, what? It's, yeah. It's, uh, it's, I, I'm, I mean, I, I don't even know how many competitions. And they all come. It's all, all very ceremonial. It's really cool. And, uh, you know, you guys should go back to see the sumo right. competition. How right. long is a match? It, well, with the ceremony and everything, each one is about... And the matches themselves are quick. They're like 15 seconds. But the ceremony beforehand, it makes them each like five minutes. Jesus. They, like, man. You know, throw salt on the mat. It's you didn't get cool. tired on. No, we got so. really into it. <laughs> we started yelling out names of wrestlers we like. Brianna Mercury on Facebook asked, what, Sona, what was your favorite part of Japan? And also, what was your favorite part of the Japan show? Uh, that you because you didn't get oh, nice. to see ah, Ooh, okay. She hasn't, she hasn't seen the show. <laughs> She's not a big fan of not our work. <laughs> uh, my favorite part of Japan was probably the efficiency of the rail system. <laughs> Are you giving a high school report? That sounds like a report you would give in ninth, in ninth grade. It's just civility. The efficiency of the... It was just good civility. need to be sims. at the sumo festival at 8 a.m. And my favorite part of the of the episode was definitely the family. Renting, renting the family. The family was yes. the, one of the Rent, best things I've ever seen. Renting the family was possibly my favorite Thing I've done in quite a while. Weeks. Well, I Weeks. loved it because Weeks. I know your real family, and I know there's a lot that you need to address there <laughs> normally, and so for you to do it... <laughs> It's me on the okay today about Emily Faye. And on that it's note, Eel Ray. This was great. Right. Sona, everybody. Oh, wait, Sona. Sona just dropped the mic. Sona just drops the mic. And there's a lot of stuff with your family. Drops the mic and takes off. Leave? We're only, uh, we've only got three more minutes, uh, so get your questions in now. Uh, and Noran uh, Warot on Facebook asks, where is Jordan? What is he doing while we're on tour? What is, what is Jordan You know doing? what we've had is... I, watching this. I take, <laughs> I take questions at the end of every show, yes. which is which is turning... I'm, I'm touring with these, uh, you know, really funny comedians. I go out first uh, and, and uh, do comedy, whatever, for for about half an hour or so. Yeah. And then we have these great comedians. Taylor Tomlinson's with us now. Yep. Uh, Ron, James Veach. Ron Funches. Ron Funches. Just brilliant comedians. Chris uh, Fula. Fula Borg is, is with us emceeing, and uh, he's hilarious. And we've had Rory Scovel and Marina Franklin and more comics to come. This is a really fun tour. I have to say every night when I take questions, maybe the second or third question is, Where's Jordan? <laughs> People are obsessed with Jordan. And is he real? And is he real? And the answer is, he is real. He's a real person. That's really who he is. He really does irritate me. <laughs> but he also fascinates me. And it's very hump complicated to explain, but I like Jordan, and I also dislike him at the same time. <laughs> and I can't explain it. And um, but I, it Sounds like marriage. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Very good. But uh, yeah, so uh, he is real. And right now he is back home in Los Angeles, I believe, right? Yes, I think so. He was his wife and a young bad. child. Yes. And he is, um, we're just uh, probably today just fielding phone calls and emails <laughs> <laughs> about the Ralph Macchio debacle. <laughs> Well, uh, we'll kind of end maybe on this question, which is the question we always end on, which is David one at Facebook asks, what country would you most like to visit next? Everybody is always asking, where's next, where's it's next? It's not just, there's no one, we can't say right now which yeah. one is next. We know we want to go to India. Yep. Um, just have to go to India. We know uh, there's, a, there's a couple of countries that we have up our sleeve that we want to visit. Yeah, uh, sure. But, uh, I mean, if you can... And, and also, we take fan suggestions. I mean, it's true. Some of our best adventures have been 
you know, fans inviting us. Uh, uh, the whole Conan Town, uh, yes, Conan Town uh, thing happened, and that got us to Tokyo. Yeah. So we also, I mean, it's in your hands as much as probably more than it's in our hands. Yeah. If you have an idea of where we should go, or if you're watching this in your country and you have a good organic reason why we should come, let us know. Yeah, we, we, send us snacks. <laughs> yeah, send That's us snacks. Works. Mail yourself. <laughs> yeah. uh, we should um, include bars now. I think bars is. I think so. Yeah, yeah. I think something. it takes what two hundred and eighty days. It to takes get there? half a six months. Yeah, yeah. we can do it. Okay, reruns and then cool. you know just do the show from Mars. Or it'd be a good challenge to do a country with no people, like Antarctica. Oh yeah, or, or maybe uh, Iceland. People say it could be fun. Iceland would be interesting. That could be a fun yeah. one. Um, well, uh, that's going to do it for our Conan Japan Live Q&A. We're, Again, in we're in Chicago. From Chicago. Where are we going tonight? to Minneapolis. That's right. Tonight. We're going to Minneapolis tonight. And yes. then Milwaukee. And then we're on to Milwaukee the and next Friday, night. Yeah. So if you want to come, if you're anywhere in that area or you want to, um, or you're in Peru, but you want to fly to Milwaukee <laughs> right now and see us live, come that's check right. us out. We'll also be obviously in LA, Vancouver, Denver, and San Francisco coming up. Uh, and follow hashtag Conan and Friends to see everything we're doing on tour. Go to Team Coco.com slash Japan to see all sorts of extra stuff from uh, the, the Conan Japan episode. Uh, and uh, thank you guys for watching. We're going to be doing another Facebook Live very soon, so make sure you tune in from Chicago outside. And uh, signing off, we'll see you guys later. Bye!